Okay, everybody, I'm going to try to make this quick. This is a tutorial. If you have a game, how to navigate through your game or anyone else that is using the Ultimark iPack, which I love the iPack. Uh, excuse me, I use the iPack 2 for the two players and iPack 4 for the four players. It basically mimics a keyboard and gives you a bunch of key codes, but it automatically assigns them to the buttons, which is pretty cool. So with minor amounts of configurations you can have your whole system up and running pretty quickly all right so let's dive into it pretty quickly i always use a little wireless keyboard go to hyperspin if you bought a game for me your game will uh, load up into hyperspin so you won't have to do anything like this if you go to ultramark.com click on ipack this is what you'll see okay and it's really cool because it tells you if you hold down the player one button one it becomes a shift and it does a whole bunch of things so when I hold down player one button one and I press player uh, two it becomes an escape so that's how you exit a game whenever I want to enter a game um, I just press player one when I want to go uh, do it go to, into tab which is in especially in MAME how you go do some of the adjustments I hold down player one and press it over to the see right here it says over to the left or over to the right, and, then, and you're gonna use inner lot. So let's go ahead and dive in and do uh, a few examples. So I navigate through my wheel with my player one joystick. Let's go on main. Captain Commando. You know, let's play Captain Commando. So I press start. I'm going to pause this. Okay, here we go. I paused it because I'm doing a backup right now. I'm doing a, a clone on a 5 terabyte hard drive, so it eats up a lot of space and memory. Um, okay, so I have my coin button automatically set. It's right next door to both of your player 1 and player 2 start buttons, right? Going into the game. Never know what button starts the game. They're always It's always different. Alright, see? Now, when I want to exit a game, I'm going to hold down player one, start, and press player two, start. And when I do that, I exit the game. Now, I'm still in the original wheel for MAME. When I want to exit the wheel, okay, I'm going to hold down player one, start, and press over to the left. That is the same as pressing enter. Okay, when I press enter, it, I exit the wheel. Now I can go back into a different wheel. Okay, so player one start again to enter a game. Don Patchy, one of my favorite games. Press player one start. All right, I paused it through that nonsense. Now on some games, you'll just have to understand, you'll have to wait and let them boot up. Um, this game in particular takes about 15 seconds and it spells out everything across the whole screen. It's crazy. Um, some other games start up, start up really quick. Let me turn that down a little bit. That was the wrong way. What's cool on this is I have flight sticks, and this is the same as uh, using the joystick and the same as using button one and button two. This game is awesome. All right, now, when I want to exit a game, again, what do we do? We need to press escape. So hold down player one start button, and I press player two, and I exit the game. Back to using my joystick, navigating through. Now, if you want to go alphabetically, you're going to hold down the joystick, hold over to the right until you see um, shoot, well maybe you can't do that in cave, but again, when I want to exit a wheel, I need to press enter, so hold down player one start, over to the left. Now when you're in MAME, you can definitely check out the uh, 
alphabetic order. And you can just press over when you want it. When you find the letter you like, just press player one start, and, we'll, and it will go all the way to the J's. Now you can go over whole pages when you press over to the right, over to the left. I don't currently have the genre work, uh, working right now. Okay, I'm going to press enter, which is holding down this, over to the left. Go into Capcom. All the arcades work great. I mean, fantastic even. Some of the other games, you have to do some tweaks and adjustments, stuff like that. But you can count on the arcade games themselves to work fantastic. Alrighty, coin. Now, what, another thing I wanted to show you is whenever you hold down player one's uh, start and press over to the right, it becomes tab. That's really all that I use is tab, enter, and escape. Uh, makes it pretty simple. Um, with this over here, I, I do have three buttons. I don't, I haven't, ha haven't set those yet, so we could make those that. But in some other people's games, um, what's cool about the iPack is um, it's all built in, so you don't even necessarily need other buttons. I, I had already pre-drilled those. Okay, so hold down player one start, press over to the right this time, and then my adjustment menu pops up. So now I can go into that, press player one. I, I think I got to press enter. So joystick over to the left. Go down the controls. Enter is my main command, so using my joystick to navigate through. I can change the button tree and do all kind of stuff in here. Again, enter is my main command, and I can do all kind of things in here. You can actually go into now input general sets all the controls for all of main, which is like fifteen thousand games. Input this only changes the game and controls for that individual game. So if you didn't like the block button right here and you wanted it over here or something, you can do that right there. You can also go in and do the cheats, which is kind of cool. Again, I'm navigating through this, pressing enter. Infinity Lives, all kind of cool stuff. My other systems do not do that. You can change video stuff. You can create auto fires, stuff like that. Okay. And all right, now I want to I want to escape, so I'm going to press player two and player one at the same time. I'm out. I'm going to press enter to exit out of the wheel, and now I'm in the wheel, navigating through, ready to play the day away. Real quick, let's check something cool out. I haven't checked out some of these. This is a brand new updated will from Chris Upchurch. So sad to hear he is no longer building arcade games, arcade drives, or computers. He is the best. Navigating through it. Some cool stuff in here. So I'm going to take a minute. Okay, so that's the basics on how to navigate through your system. When you want to play something, it's pretty easy. You just go into it. Now, they all do really have different settings. You know, like some of the games, like Mortal Kombat and Justice. This game is set for the uh, Xbox controller. So for me to do that, let me pause this and show you how that works.